Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was unbelievable. You talked about tricks that you had up your sleeve. If didn't that was one them. of them, that was tremendous, my man. Yeah, yeah, I guess I didn't need him this time. Uh, I was excited to show off my wrestling skills because I know everyone knows that I suck at that, but, you know, I'll take that. Corey, yeah. I want you to see what you <laughs> just did, my man. Look at that screen. 28 seconds, you backed up in the timing, the knee. That was, that was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, it feels good, man, but that's Frankie Edgar, you know. Uh, I don't want to watch that happen to him, you know, but better him than me, so that's the game we're in. You know, I think, Corey, a lot of people felt like that, but tonight is your night. Yeah, when yeah. you do something like that to an all-time legend, title shot doesn't seem like we have to worry and question nope. anymore. No. Nope. Two in a row after that disappointment in the Aljo fight, to go and do what you did to Marlon Marais and now Frankie Edgar, you have to feel... Like you're putting together the resume that deserves a title shot. I'm a different monster than I, than I was before I fought Aljamain Sterling. He taught me some lessons, you know. I know Jan has been talking about fighting TJ after that fight. That's if he even wins that fight. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's garbage to me. You know, fight me. I'm the toughest guy next to Aljamain. And if Aljamain wins, I owe him a nap, and he's going to get that nap. The winner of those two gets knocked out by me in July. Corey Sanhagen, I'm not supposed to check my phone, but I got a whole bunch of... Man, Corey Sanhagen is good. What a fantastic performance tonight, my friend. Good job. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey Sanhagen.